with this cream here. Shall I just this is the off? important thing with this pudding is that you actually have really good quality chocolate. We've got a 70% chocolate. If you pour that onto there and stir it until the chocolate has melted, then we're ready to almost to put the dish together. Okay. Can I smell that? That is delicious. Yeah, and that. So don't get rid of the liquor which the cherries have been marinating in because we're going to use that in a minute. Is this the kind of thing you'd have on your menu? Yeah, yeah. Sort of all those Sunday people lunchtime. sneaking down there for weekends away. It's yeah, kind Sunday of lunchtime, I think. You know, so you send people off and let them have a sleep. <laughs> yeah, I think you need it after that. Yeah. This liquor now I use to soak the sponge with. Okay, Ooh, that's nice. So. You're not worried that's going to sort of make it too soggy? Yeah, it will make it soggy, but I'm not too fussed about it. And what I've got here is some semi-whipped cream. So it's not good for the waist, but hang on, all the things that are really tasty generally aren't good for the waistline, but hey. They don't have to be, do no. they? No. Semi-whipped cream. That's why they're so, treats. Absolutely. And that's why you have it in moderation as well. So you've okay. made really a chocolate ganache, which is, you know, so easy and simple. So just to keep... Yeah, I keep sometimes do chocolate cakes like this and just do that as the icing on the top. Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm doing, yep. Tana. But, of course, you don't have to use 70% chocolate, but uh, to make it really, really good, I would do. So don't go all the way to the edge of the cream yet, because by the time you put the cherries on... I love how light the mm. sponge is. It's, it's really important that the sponge is, is light. Mm. Be generous with it. Be generous with it. <laughs> There's no <laughs> fact, holding back. Pile it on. Right, so. Okay. Now then. I'm not into necessarily painting pretty pictures on a plate, but I can tell you that I'm tempted to use this one rather than the one because it's going to ooze yeah, all over. Yeah, absolutely. So. Let's go for that. Go for it. Oh, look at that. Look and at actually that. let it just It's so glossy and fall. perfect. Mm. I mean, that does look a very glamorous dish as well with that <laughs> gloss on it, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose it does, really. Now, if I had the time, I would go around it and make it extraordinarily pre presentable, but I'll tell you what, it's going to taste all right. It is going to taste. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> delicious. Right. Let's get into it. Here we go. Just dip this into... A little hot water to start off with, and then dive in. It makes it a lot easier just to slide through the cake there, doesn't yeah. it? it? certainly does. <laughs> wow, here we go. Look, it's all kind of... I know, it's oozing. Oh, it it's is, oozing. isn't it? Wow, look at that. Okay, let me take this over. I can hear Matt impatient over here. <laughs> Go. I think, girls. Thank you. That it looks amazing. amazing. Dive in. <laughs> Good. Look, they couldn't wait over there. What really nice. the verdict so far? It's really nice. It's really moist, and you can taste the alcohol and the cherries. It just makes it taste all really good together. Katie? Um, it's really rich and beautiful and creamy, and I love it. To make Galton's Black Forest Gatto, you will need butter, organic eggs, caster sugar, and cocoa powder for the sponges. For the filling, you will need some black cherries and kirsch. Finally, to make the icing, you should use some double cream and good quality chocolate.